Hey, hi, hello, I'm Shri here. Uh, so today uh, I'm going to show the demo about the MySQL installation using the RPM bundle. Okay, uh, so from my last video, I explained how to do the MySQL installation using the M repository. Uh, so the today tutorial is uh, using the RPM bundle. So here I just, before going to the demo section, I just want to uh, explain, so what is the difference between the uh, repository installation and the RPM bundle installation. Okay, so using the M repository, uh, you just need to install the M repository and you can do the installation with a single command like uh, my M install MySQL community server. Okay, so it will search all the dependency packages and the needed packages and it will install everything. Okay, uh, it needs the internet, uh, it will install everything. You don't need to uh, manually install the things. Okay, but here, if you come to the RPM bundle, uh, you need to download the needed RPM packages one by one, and then you need to manually install everything. Okay, uh, so in this case, if you have any dependency error, if you face some dependency error, then you also, need to manually install the dependency packages as well. But using the M, uh, it will search the dependency package and it will install by itself, okay? But the RPM bundle, using the RPM bundle, the scenario is different, okay? Uh, so I think uh, you will be get clear idea when I am showing the demo. Um, so I created one new server and I logged in as a root user and I am using the CentOS Linux 8. Okay, uh, I already downloaded the package, RPM bundle package, because during the demo, it will take some time. So to avoid the delay, I already downloaded the package. But uh, anyway, I can show you how to download the RPM bundle. Okay, uh, here, MySQL community downloads. Then uh, just choose the first one. Okay, uh, so here choose the MySQL community server. Okay, so here you can download. So you need to choose your uh, platform. So I'm using the uh, CentOS, so I'm choosing Red Dot. Here I'm using CentOS 8, so I am choosing this one. Okay, Linux 8, 64 bit. So after that, it will display all the packages okay the first one is the bundle so bundle contains all the packages okay and if you want to download any separate package rpm then that also possible you can download the manual manually you can download one by one but if you download the bundle then it will contain all the rpm packages okay so the same thing uh, click the download i am then right click and copy the link address then I am directly downloading using the wget command here, right? So the download is completed right now. Um, I'm checking the file. So this is the file, tar file. Okay, so the first step, I am creating one <coughs> directory to, to extract this package. Uh, I'm just naming like RPM bundle, okay? Um, and just file to my SQL RPM bundle. Okay. Now I need to extract this file. This is the tar file. So to extract. It is extracting. Okay, the extraction is completed. So if you list then inside the directory, you can see all the needed RPM packages. Okay, uh, you can see the client, common, and the libs and the server. You can see every packages. Okay, now, uh, so the next step is we need to install the packages one by one. Okay, uh, so the first step we downloaded the RPM bundle. The second step, we uh, extracted the RPM, uh, RPM bundle. Then the third step is we need to install one by one. Okay, so let's see uh, the first one is IVH MySQL Community Common. I am installing the common package first. 
yeah uh, so it is installed so it is verifying the package then preparing then updating and finally installing uh, you can also verify uh, the package is installed or not okay uh, so right now mysql community common package is installed okay the next one is mysql community client plugins or pm hyphen ivh mysql community client plugins okay i am installing the client plugins package so this is also installed i am searching the uh, installed package now the both packages common and the client plugins uh, both the packages are installed. So here the purpose of the common packages, uh, this provides the common files for the server and the client libraries. Okay, so I install the common package and the client plugins package, it provides a MySQL client plugins. Okay, and the next that, that package, I am going to install the lips, uh, MySQL community lips. Uh, so the reason is this provides the shared libraries for the MySQL database client application. Okay, so the that package, I am going to install the MySQL community lips. Uh, PM hyphen IVH MySQL community lips. Okay. Yeah, it is also installed. So I am grabbing the installed package. So far, we installed three packages. Okay. The fourth one is uh, MySQL community client. Uh, it provides the MySQL client applications and plugins. Okay, so installation installing the MySQL community client. Yeah, so MySQL community client is installed right now. So so far we have four packages, and finally uh, I am going to install the MySQL community server. RPM hyphen IVH the community server yes oh okay so we have the fail message uh okay so this is the dependency error okay uh so dependency with the pearl and the libio and the net tools okay uh so i need to solve the dependency error so that i can uh, after that only it will allow to install the mysql community server so I am going to, to install the dependencies first. I'm um, install per libio and the net tools. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so it will take a bit time. So meanwhile, uh, we can write the steps here. So the first step, download the RPM bundle from MySQL website. The second step is extract the RPM bundle dot tar file. That step is install mysql community common fourth step is install mysql community client plugins fifth step is install mysql community lips six step is install mysql community client seventh step is install mysql community server okay uh, so let's see the dependencies are installed or not. Oh, oh, cool. uh, okay, so it is installed. Okay, now let's try again to install the MySQL community server. Yeah, it is happening. Okay, so the package is installed. 
now i'm just verifying the installed packages yes so currently we have the mysql community command mysql community server mysql community client plugins mysql community client and mysql community libs okay so we installed this package this five packages enough uh, the next step is i need to start the mysql service okay service mysql status i'm just checking the status it is in active now i am going to start the mysql service so uh, using the rpm installation also you create the your mysql uh, configuration file that my.cnf file will be created under the etc folder by default okay uh, when installing the mysql server this file will be created and you can find the data directory it is the default one where like mysql and so socket and this is your error log file okay so now the mysql service is started yeah it is active now mysql service is active now no now again uh, this is the mysql ai right so we need to get the temporary password to log in the mysql first so you can get the temporary password from the uh, error log uh, the error log is mostly under the slash where slash lab slash log uh, you can check the mysql configuration file for your error log path here you can see this is the log error it is equal to slash where slash log slash mysql d dot log right so i am just opening that file yeah so here you can read the logs and uh, you can find the temporary password here let me get it yeah here it is a temporary password is generated for rooted localhost and this is my temporary password okay yeah uh, so let me log in mysql u root hyphen p yes so login is working but i cannot execute any commands uh, so we sh i should uh, reset my password once i log in using the temporary password okay so to reset alter user rooted local host defined by my sql or pm at 3 to okay yeah uh, now i am able to log in and i can execute the commands you can check the version here we install the latest MySQL 8 version. It is MySQL 8.0.6. Okay, uh, so this is the uh, 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 this is what I plan to cover in this video. Uh, so hopefully uh, this will be helpful for the beginners uh, who we started to learn the MySQL. Uh, if you like this video, uh, just share with your friends who is learning the MySQL and. Uh, yeah, subscribe my channel. Okay. Thank you. Bye.